this is as good of a reason to start a vlog as any. I'm moving tomorrow. So the backstory, um, it has been just a whirlwind of a week. Um, last Saturday, I was in the Petco parking lot bawling my eyes out because I didn't know where my dog was going to go. And I had to buy him a whole new collar. And I was just like really losing my mind. Flash forward to now, a week later, and I have already found have an apartment. I'm moving in in 24 hours and he gets to come with me. Um, it is not, doesn't feel real yet. Like it hasn't sunk in all the way. Um, so yeah, last weekend I got word that the person who was watching my dog, um, was no longer willing to care for him anymore. He just kind of shut it down, turned it, whatever, like turned in his, his duties and was just, he gave me 48 hours until he was done. Um, so with that in mind, it was a very stressful weekend. Um, I ended up finding like a border for my dog to go and that's where he was for the first three days of this week until Thursday he got kicked out <laughs> because I think that he was just very unhappy like I don't think he fit well with the border I don't think he enjoyed the place and I think that he was just stressed out from moving out of his home that he's known his whole life he's only 10 months old to a place that I wasn't at all the time he had to sleep there like it was just a lot so now here he is <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> now, um, on Thursday, after he got kicked out, he came to my parents' house and slept in the garage for a night, which was fine. Did well. Perfectly fine. And then last night is when I applied for an apartment, just kind of spur of the moment, haven't toured, haven't been there, just kind of was like, this is urgent. I just need it. Like, I need a place. I need to figure out what I'm doing and where I'm going. Didn't think I'd get approved, but as luck would have it, I've had, like of all the bad luck I've been having, they emailed me back this morning asking more and more questions. And then basically we're like, yeah, you've been approved. Like, we'd love to have you move in. Like, this is what you need to do to keep the process going. And so miracle beyond miracle, I'm moving in tomorrow to a one bedroom. And it's like under the price range that I was going for. So I'm feeling very like stress but happy like tonight I don't know if I should drink alcohol or coffee to keep me going because I'm going to be packing all night um and then tomorrow I'm just going to be moving in as much as I can with my bed and with his crate and like necessities and then Sunday I might take a little bit of time to organize and figure things out but yeah I just wanted to give a quick update because I know I went quite literally MIA for two weeks but a lot of shit hit the fan like I'm not gonna lie like it it really just kept on coming but I think we've hit the other side so to say um and I will show you guys the apartment tomorrow so it is like 9 30 um and I am trying to pack let me show you the current state of my room I need to do this laundry I have so many boxes that I need to figure out what more I need to put in, take down those lights, take down my plants that are fake. All these, all these clothes and just like all the stuff that I just need to figure out where I'm putting it. It's stressful because I feel like I don't know where to start. Like I don't know where to begin with moving things. I have things that I need to move, obviously, clothes, necessities, but that doesn't really go in boxes, so I don't know how to do this. Um, the past two times I've moved, I moved to a different state, so I didn't really have the luxury of packing boxes and moving like this because it just didn't make sense. So now that I do, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> um, it'll be interesting to see <laughs> what I accomplish this weekend 
I'm not expecting a lot, honestly. I'm expecting bare minimum, the things I need to live, like a mattress, my dog crate, and <laughs> shower stuff, I don't know. <laughs> this is just so not what I was expecting to be doing on a Friday tonight, but I'm excited. I just don't think I've let myself be excited yet because it's so doesn't feel real yet it just feels like it's still not happening so that's exciting but i just wanted to document the wild nature <laughs> that is my room right now um because it is so cute and none of these boxes make sense. I know that I'm supposed to label them and I'm supposed to make sure that I know what's in where, but I can tell you for a fact that is not happening. <laughs> so yeah, that's just kind of where we're at right now. Um, I'm gonna try, is this fake? Yeah, and get some sleep tonight. Um, I think my goal is to be there by like 8.30 or 9 tomorrow so that I can sign the lease and just get started. Um, I don't really have, I don't know, that's just kind of what the, 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 the day is going to look like, I think. Um, so I will check in in the morning when I wake up. I think I'm going to go to Starbucks and get my normal. And then just start. My room is already looking so bare. Like, how did that happen so fast? It's weird. I'm excited. <laughs> Good night. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I am taking my first load of boxes to the apartment. My mom has already left and she's on her way there with a load. And we're just going to keep doing this all day. So, so far, I think I just have like a random assortment of things like dishware and mugs. I'm pretty sure I have gin in the back. <laughs> um, dog stuff. I think I have like just random decor items behind me because I just wanted to just get as many items in my car as possible. Um, I have an inflatable mattress behind me, like just in case I can't get my mattress or my bed there tonight, then I will be sleeping on a twin mattress. Um, my pillows, I have, um, you know, the necessities. I will be having Jen and crackers, I guess, tonight. Um, but that is so far what we're doing now. I've, everything's secure. My keys are ready. I'm just getting there now. Like, I'm so excited. Um, I woke up at like 7.45 today and it has been a good morning so far. It's sunny. Um, I am tired but my mom's helping me my sister's helping me I think my sister's boyfriend's gonna help drive over the bigger items like my dresser potentially my bed frame I don't know if I'm keeping my bed frame yet I've seen the trend of using like um, pallets as like a bed frame or um, something like that and I do like that so I might I might think about that and just kind of be a mattress a floor mattress kind of person for a few days and think about it because I've had my bed frame since I was like 12 and it wasn't even something I picked out it was inherited from my grandma so it's not really this style that I want anymore I just kind of kept it around because of uh, necessity but if I can reinvent and just kind of like revamp something in my room now then I, you know why not um it's kind of hard because it would be brand new and like that's just like I do enjoy change but if it's been in my room and like I've used it for so long it just seems weird so I'm still considering that. Um, I think the mattress will come hopefully later. And then other than that, I think we're just going to get as much over there today as possible because tomorrow's Easter. Um, and so I don't really wanna be moving on Easter. I just kinda of wanna be able to relax and spend time with my family after I've gotten everything settled before work to, um, on Monday because this coming week is spring break with the nanny kids that I work with. So they will be off school and I won't have as much time to get things 
done until after work as I usually would if they were in school. So um, that's kind of the plan. I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get there. It's like 30 minutes from my parents' house, which is really not that bad, and about 30 minutes from where I work. So all in all, as impulsive and as rash and like immediate as this decision was and like as serious as I needed a place, it almost seems like it was meant to be, you know? Like, it is checking all my boxes. The square footage is the most I've ever seen for the price that I was looking at. Because even when I looked at places in the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, it was when I was originally planning on moving out, um, they, I was seeing places for like 400 square feet or less. And it wasn't even a one bedroom, it was like a studio. And they were either more expensive than what I'm going to be paying for this one now or about the same. And it just, I don't know. I think that this is just a really good sign. So I'm very excited and I will show you guys and give you a little tour when I get there. Okay, we made it. Ooh, first time. I'll show you guys around. It's up to you. Okay, here's my room. room. I mean, you walk around my house all the time. No, I don't. Not anymore. Lies. Here's my room. Here's my bathroom. I need to get a shower curtain. <laughs> oh. I have a fireplace. <laughs> and a deck. I need a sweep. And a big mirror. Oh, cute. Hey. <laughs> I'm excited. It's so nice. Cute. Super cute. What's your review? What do you think? It's very cute. Are you going to put some collectibles right here? Yep, some collectibles. Well, I'm sitting on the floor of my apartment right now because I'm waiting for my dad and my sister to bring like a car full of stuff right now. I just have like the door open. I'm just listening to the birds. I'm really happy. This was a long time coming. It's <laughs> been a long time coming. Um, I think I'm probably gonna like find some takeout around here to have tonight probably eat on the floor because I don't have furniture <laughs> but that's okay and I might just be sleeping on an air mattress but that's okay um I'm really happy like I oh, wow like I'm just so proud of myself I'm probably gonna cry like I'm so proud like of myself for getting just my needs like all I needed to find a place like I needed that I found a place I just I did it I did it by myself <laughs> oh my god it's just so crazy like I think that I've always just had this fear in the back of my mind that I wouldn't be able to do it or that I would just that something would prevent me from doing this or that they'd say no or but I did it I did it and now this is mine. It has my name on it for a whole year. Um, I get to vacuum this house. Well, apartment, I guess. I get to decorate it however I want. I get to have people over. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I get to cook in here. My dog gets to be here all the time. He'll be safe during work. And then he'll sleep here every night. survived our first night <laughs> right baby um but thank you I 
think I lost my keys. So my mom is having to bring over my spare car key because I think I locked them in my trunk. I realized last night when I was going to take key night out and I wanted to lock the door behind me, <laughs> I couldn't find my keys like anywhere. I thought they were in my room and I've looked everywhere. Like there's not many places that they could be hiding right now just because there's not a lot of things around and they're really just not anywhere so that's a fun start to the adventure but at least my parents have my spare car key so i'm gonna hope that when they drop them off that my car key is just in my trunk because i don't know where else they'd be so last night i'll show you my setup and then we're gonna go adventure to the living room for this morning. All right, well, today is Sunday, Easter, and I've just finished unpacking like almost everything that I'll be using. There's like two more boxes left of decor that I don't know where I'm putting yet. So once I get inside, I will show you guys a quick little tour. All right. Here we are in the entryway. Hello. Let me. Okay, so this is the entryway. I have a coat closet to my left, and then I have my like hooks and stuff for bags and keys and things. And then we'll go down to the left. This is my living space. I have much box decor. <laughs> Wasn't very good English, but I still have a lot of boxes to take care of. I do have a fireplace that we'll, I'll use in the winter for sure. I'm thinking of putting like a coffee table here with a rug. I don't know if I want a couch because these obviously aren't a lot of city, like this is not a lot of seating area, but I'd have to remove one in order to get a couch plus then can I just create so. I'm thinking about it. And then I have my shelving over here. I have a nice um, balcony. Here is my dining space. It is, oh, hello. Um, my uh, tabletop and then the chairs and whatnot. Um, this whole wall was like windows, which is super cute. And then this is the kitchen. It comes with like a dishwasher and laundry which is really awesome i know a lot of places you have to like share laundry so i'm really really excited for that and then we will go down the hallway this is the bathroom i'm still looking for cute things to put in here but that's the bathroom so far and then my bed is on the floor because i don't have my um, bed frame yet still deciding if I want to keep it or not but for now I'm waiting to put anything on the walls in here because I don't know where things will be permanently so this is temporary I did hang my curtains and my lights because obviously that window is not going to move um closet over here it's very spacious and then I put a mirror in the corner so that is it so far um I will update you as it progresses but thanks for watching see you guys later